welcome to my channel I'm Andrea welcome to my vlogmas hence the atlas welcome to a tag video a luxury tag video thank you so much to the real Shaquem and super Jacob for tagging me I will have them both linked in my description box this tag is predicting my collection in 10 years is that what it's called predicting my collection in 10 years so predicting which of my bags i will still be using in 10 years okay before we get into all of that i invite you to subscribe which costs you absolutely nothing it does cost you your time which is very very precious i do understand but you don't have to watch <laughs> also um if you ring my bell it will remind you when I upload a video anyway all that aside make sure you have your favorite beverage at hand as I do I have an organic Pinot Grigio cheers so let's relax let's have some fun with some bags which I feel I haven't done for such a long time I think the way I'm gonna do this tag is I'm gonna take you off the stand and I'm gonna go through my bags and discuss whether I see myself using these bags I don't think for me the question would be having these bags because I'm not a person that sells a bag to buy a bag and honestly I think more or less my collection is done for me I think at this point to add another bag to my collection it would have to be a very 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 special bag what makes a bag very very special I don't know I'm I'm because I'm kind of over this I'm not gonna say I'm over the bags I still love bags I mean if I'm going to give somebody something, the first thing I want to do is buy them a bag. Obviously, it's not going to be a Chanel bag. But I, I, I love all bags and I don't think my eyes always go to bags. But I'm over this need of having to buy a bag, a Chanel bag. I have Chanel bags. I don't have that need anymore. And I've also questioned myself about Hermes bags as well and whether or not I really 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 want uh, an Hermes bag or do I really really want an Hermes bag because that's the next stage after having Chanel bags and is it a thing that you do and have I just been influenced into wanting an Hermes bag because that's what's going on on my feed you know because there's a lot of people I still follow because I still love bags and they're still on this journey and even when they've got the Hermes bag they go for the next one then a different colour and da 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 I'm not in that league people I'm, ju I'm just not so there's not even and I, I don't have the need to be either um, so I don't know Bags are not that important to me anymore, basically. It's not important enough for me to chase a bag, to go on a journey, to buy a hundred million things that I don't need for the sake of having a bag for what? I mean, where do I go? Where do I go? I hardly use the bags that I have. So, um, whoa! <laughs> Where did that come from, people? Where did that come from? So all you people that have tuned in that absolutely love bags and are on this journey going, I'm definitely not subscribing to her. People, listen, those of you that know me, know me. I just say as it is. And I'm very much that person. That we can change our mind at any time. At any time. I've always said if I'm in an Hermes store, I will put my name down for a bag. I don't know if it's just to see if I would get one, if I would get offered one. What would I do if I got offered one? I don't know. I don't know, people. I don't know. I don't know if I love a bag that much to spend that amount of money. I mean, I would rather if 
take that amount of money and go on a cruise with my family. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's what I, that would make me feel, I would, I think I would get much more enjoyment with, from that at this stage that I, I'm at now, at this stage of life, you know, because <laughs> I kind of, I've watched a Christmas movie, people. I've watched a Christmas movie and I'm very, very kind of soppy. <laughs> oh, man. Right, should we get on and do the tag? <laughs> Super Jacob sitting there going, oh, sh I, I knew I shouldn't have. I knew I shouldn't have um, tagged her. It's just, it was a big mistake tagging her. <laughs> people, I just, I, of course, I love bags. I look at my, I, I, I love all my bags and I love that I have these bags and that trend is a beauty that boy's gonna come out now because it's red and it comes out when it's christmas at uh, the dior's hardly ever used but i love that bag it's i don't i don't go anywhere people so you know if i had events to go to all the time i would rotate the bags people i go to aldi i go to the gym <laughs> i don't need a glamorous life where i need to change out my bags continuously and listen if i carry i don't i have no problem carrying my bag studies i don't have inexpensive bags i do all my bags are designer bags um and if i go somewhere and they bump into my bag i get annoyed uh, get annoyed people i'm not gonna lie it annoys me don't bump into my bag you're bumping into my bag you're too close i see when they had all those lines during covid it's great nobody was coming near me no one was bumping into me nobody was in my space people that was i enjoyed that part of it you know and I am a very much a hands-on type of person. I used to be very touchy-feely, very touchy-feely. I'm getting that way again. Anyway, should we get on with the tag? So I think this tag was created by Cat L. And um, I think you can add bags that are not in your collection. So what do you see yourself having in 10 years time? So in 10 years time, people, I will be... And I will be very thankful to reach the grand old age of 67. 67 and be healthy, people. I will thank God for that. Um so what bags i'm going to talk about how i look how often i use the bags let, let me just get you off the camera and do it because there's no point me lifting them we'll just go because they're all on the shelves i've got a few bags in this wardrobe in here which are clutch bags i'll show you them as well we'll get to it people it's going to be a long one let's start right here my chanel deauville tote this will definitely be in my collection this is a great travel bag i love this bag it's light it fits a lot it's amazing and it will definitely be in my collection <laughs> this is going to get boring people because all my bags are going to stay in my collection they're going nowhere but yes i like this bag for the for those reasons this bag i am still struggling to use and like i said it's because i have nowhere really to go to change out my bags that often i tried to use it as a travel bag i don't enjoy it as a travel bag it's not big enough i just need to work at using that bag it will be in my collection will i be using it though in 10 years uh i don't know i don't know people this is so that that was the gst the chanel gst if anybody doesn't know it is discontinued back to these these apparently come with a pouch now when i got mine it didn't have a pouch and also my one is of the style where the chain comes off right forgot to mention that the chanel medium classic which is really quite a small bag this will definitely be in my collection in 10 years and i will definitely be using this one of my most used bags the chanel trendy again this will definitely be in my collection and i will definitely be using that so this is the kind of more you know if i'm not looking for a black bag then this is the option here 
When I need a bigger classic flat, I have the Jumbo. So again, this will be in my collection. A lot of people say this is heavy. People, I work out all the time. It takes a lot for me to say a bag is heavy. What do you expect when you put things in a bag? It gets heavy. I just, I don't get that mentality, people. You know, when people buy a bag of that amount of money, then start criticising it. I just, I don't understand that mentality, you know. No bag is perfect. This will definitely be in my collection. This was crocheted by a good friend of mine who is no longer with us. This is um, it was crocheted by my son's godmother, George's godmother, Anthe. I normally have my brooch sitting there, which just sets it off beautifully. Um, I need to hold on till I get up on the chair and I'm gonna probably hit myself. Ow! On the light shade. Yes, I did. Behind there, there's that oh for goodness sake i've still got that lump of rubbish sitting there that that'll probably get given to my granddaughters um oh god and that i mean i did use that actually quite a lot i actually did use that at the time i thought that was a lovely bag of course it's in the style of the bucking um so i did use it at the time but i probably not use it now pro i might use it if i was living in cyprus as my beach bag you know for the beach and things like that um but yeah so th these are not bags that i'll definitely not be using in 10 years from now there we go and i'm gonna have to tidy all that up this is a definite one i will be using i love this bag i really love this bag love to use it easy to use of course this is the Louis Vuitton pochette metis the original none other um so yeah a really easy to use bag i love that bag for any occasion for me that's an any occasion bag going out for dinner shopping all of that over here we have the chanel walk yes that's another definite one i will be using that's like i can use that as an evening bag i can use it as a crossbody everyday bag holiday bag absolutely that will be in my collection i put a great deal of thought when i buy bags i don't buy and sell i'm not an airhead that way where you know i put a lot of thought into them this bag i took to milton Keynes with me this is the pouch fell in love with it and remembered why everybody loves the um louis vuitton never before <laughs> couldn't think of what it was called this is in the demi it had been so light so easy to use um fits a lot yeah absolutely love it absolutely love it this is one that I probably won't be using. I hardly ever use it. This was a work bag for me. This was my Prada tote. And I don't see myself using this in 10 years time. It was a work bag. These were my two work bags. The Prada Safiano tote. And my Louis Vuitton MM Neverfull were my two work bags. So I probably will never sell them. But. Um, I don't see my well also I do I probably will use that I will still be using that I don't see myself using this I won't be using this is for sentimental reasons and nothing else this was a bag bought for me uh, from my mum and dad one Christmas and um then i gave it to my mum to use so that was her handbag and she absolutely loved using that bag and then her dementia took over and i had to take it off her and um the zip it's all stiff and all that but that's for sentimental reasons but i used it lots my mum used it lots and honestly apart from the zip you wouldn't know this is canvas you wouldn't know the amount of um, years this bag was used and I bought the matching purse because that's exactly what I used to do so I won't be using that but it's one that will be in my collection 
this is another bag that's hardly used it's a lovely bag it's a great bag to use the capacity of the bag is great this purse is lovely um i don't see me selling it i don't know if i'll still be using that if i had to be honest i really really don't know if i'll still be using that in 10 years time okay deep in here i've just thrown things in there because i am packed the mini pochette i'll probably still i don't know at 67 will i be using a mini pochette i don't know i love this bag i've just i've just unpacked it actually and put it away i'd probably be using it as a crossbody i don't know <laughs> Me sitting here saying at 67, it sounds like, I don't know, people. I, uh, the, the truth is, I don't know. I wouldn't sell any of these bags. These are the bags, you know, I will pass down to my family. I have two granddaughters. At the moment, I have two daughter-in-laws. So, who knows? Who knows, people? Okay, down here. Will I be using these in 10 years time? I probably will be using that by the way. <laughs> That's just like such an easy bag to use. Probably not, if I had to be honest. Probably won't be using them. Definitely not be using this bag. I just keep this bag because I hardly got use out of it because it, it got damaged right there and it, uh, what am I going to do with it? Um, you know, you're not. You, I can't sell it because of the damage um, on the handle. Who's going to buy it? Uh, but this was a Gucci bag, which at the time Rico was like, "That's a horrible bag, Andre. That is ugly. Don't buy it." I wanted it, really, really wanted it, and then hardly got any use out of it because of the strap. Gucci wouldn't do anything about it. Um, and that's when I moved on from Gucci after that bag the long shop I would definitely be using I've never used that uh, none of that down there oh I'll use my pouch that's my pouch that's my Oriton pouch definitely use that but as for like oh I said I didn't have any cheap bags yeah I bought that to walk with Lily no, never happened, people. Never happened. <laughs> Very rarely. Okay, to the boy. Will I be using that? In yes, I will. Christmas, that comes out. I would definitely be using that. The Lady Dior. I probably will be. It's just a wee classic. I love it. Yes, I still see myself using that. The YSL College bag. Yes, I see myself using that. Gucci tote, probably not. I don't even use it now. Who remembers the Paddington people? The Paddington. This was another bag I was desperate to get. Desperate to get. And in this colour. This is also a Chloe wallet. Is it Chloe? Yeah, it is Chloe, yeah. Um. So I've told the story before. So I got this for Christmas. Rico got me this for Christmas. And then I used to always want the purse to match the bag because my birthday is in February. So February, I always wanted the purse. And Rico drove to Edinburgh trying to find me. A, a, was it the Chloe? People, it's Chloe, isn't it? Yes, it is Chloe. So Rico, I mean, it's a beautiful bag, but it's a, a ton weight. It is a lovely bag and I did absolutely love it. But will I use it in 10 years time? No. Anyway. So I was saying, so Rico went driving to Edinburgh, trying to find a purse for my bag and he came home with this and honestly, <laughs> and he says, I've got your Chloe purse to match your bag and I looked at it and I went, are you being serious? Are you actually being serious? How in your head, Rico, does this purse, I feel awful now when I think back, but how in your head does this purse match this bag? Honestly, he's going, but it's Chloe. I mean, but look, how does that match that bag? And people, can I tell you, I used this purse 
so much it was a fantastic purse i could fit my phone in there i could fit so much in there i really really use this chloe purse so so much do i see myself using this in 10 years i don't know people i don't know but it's because I've got so many purses. That's why I've got my Louis Vuitton. I've got the Gucci one over there. I've got the wee Chanel coin purse. So, yeah. So, this is a no in 10 years' time. This is another Gucci bag. Probably no. Um, I still use that occasionally because it's such an easy bag to use. Again, the matching purse. But would I use that? Um, probably not in 10 years. If I'm still going to the beach, yes, I would still use my Michael Kors. This was great. I used this on holiday. That's what I bought it for, for holidays. Um, this is a bag I've never used. It was a gift I was given on my birthday. So this is, this is a, what's it called? A, a Furla, I think it is. Where is it? Where's the name, people? Anyway. That's an old. That's an old. That's a um. What are those boots called? Weitzman Stuart Weitzman bag. No. Okay. So I've missed two bags out here. This sparkly clutch route here, which does me for evenings that require that special sparkly bag that I don't have. Any other bag that will match. And then there's my Andrew bag, which I absolutely love. Will I be using them in 10 years' time? Don't know about that one. But if the occasion needs a sparkly bag, then why not indeed? Okay, in here I have all my Gina shoes um, with their matching bags. Let me see. So, yep, yeah, I would wear this for an evening with the matching shoes. This is a Gina bag. Again, another Gina bag. I would use that with the matching shoes and then up here I have a uh, what's it called <laughs> the red sole Christian Louboutin there we go because these are the bags that I've got shoes to match here we go that's the shoes to match oh my god today shoes people oh my god today shoes it's my Louboutins that's the bag to match them or it was the closest bag I could get same color as the shoes um, Again, another bag, Christian Louboutin clutch to match my shoes. So yes, I would keep all them. Although people, whether or not I'll be able to wear the shoes is another question. I mean, really, these are actually really, really comfortable. I could wear them with my Christmas dress, couldn't I? I could be, be nice with my velvet dress. Nice wee change, and then I can take these Zara ones back. Let me, let's have a look. People, let's have a look. <sighs> Get my big fat fit in there. Look. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. People. These were actually really comfortable. I used to find these really, really comfortable. I know we're talking about shoes now, but there you go. You're getting my bag collection in this tag video and everything. There we go. Okay. So yeah, at six or seven, I was said I would be that woman <laughs> that walked like this in her high heels with a lipstick coming up to her, her face. <laughs> so there you go, people. I would definitely be using my Chanel's, definitely, my Louis Vuitton's, um, yeah, probably that's the bags that I would use. The classics, because I'm a classic girl, people, and then my clutches for when I go out, <laughs> if I'm still going out. Who knows, people? Who knows? In 10 years, what we'll be doing, who knows, people. But of course, these videos are all for fun and um, a way of talking about handbags. That's what it's really about. It's not really about what we will and won't be using. We need people. It's health and happiness. That's all we need. Not handbags. But it's nice. <laughs> okay. So, there you go.
that's the tag done so there you go that's my thoughts on whether i'll be using these bags in 10 years or not so thanks again to the real shakim and super Jacob for thinking of me and tagging me thank you so much i've really actually enjoyed doing the video and i've enjoyed talking about bags again i feel as if i haven't done that for such a long time and of course i do really love bags i really do love bags so yeah i'm gonna tag some of my friends down in my description box i don't know who's done it and who hasn't done it um i know i know the tag's been going around for a while so i don't know who has and who hasn't done if um you haven't done it i'm tagging you people i'm tagging you but i will um, link some names down below and if you've done it I'm sorry that I've linked you but people I'm on a conveyor belt trying to get these videos out for vlogmas happy Christmas by the way if you've come here just to check out the handbags welcome and if you're not coming back thank you for watching anyway and um, yeah Merry Christmas to you cheers oh by the way if you happen to want to see more videos from moi I'm gonna link one here here and if you're not already subscribed it's the A right here catch you next time cheers Merry Christmas <laughs>